Let's face it, owning a property, while a goal of many, can be daunting. There are many moving parts, but nothing is as fulfilling as owning your dream home or first property. Many have started this journey and encountered many speed bumps, twists, and turns. There are things that one won't readily know and many won't tell you. But Sajikor Property Services is here to give you the unfiltered truth as you navigate your way to owning your own home. This is where we keep it real in keeping it real estate. Finding the perfect home to purchase can sometimes be like finding a needle in a haystack. How about some help? Today, we have realtor extraordinaire, Nikisha Wong, real estate sales manager from Sajikor Property Services. She's here to guide us towards finding our perfect home. Nikisha, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us today, Nikisha, how can I engage a realtor to find a property for me? Finding a realtor from Sajikor Property Services is quite easy. You can visit our website at sajikorproperties.com. You can also visit our social media pages and request to be connected with an agent. You can call our offices as well and the receptionist will connect you with an agent. What are some of the benefits of using a realtor? When purchasing a property, this is one of the biggest steps you'll ever make in your entire life, right? True. So you want to ensure that it's done properly. Mm -hmm. Real estate agents from Sajikor Property Services are trained professionals. So we will offer expert guidance with finding the perfect home to suit your needs. There is something that we usually see when, when we're browsing um, some properties that are under offer and some that are under contract. And I've always wondered, what is the difference between these two? I'm going to put it in layman terms. So when you, are, when you have visited that property and you've seen several properties and you've mm -hmm. zoom in, zoomed in on that property that you like, mm -hmm. to let the seller know that you are interested, you submit a written offer and the seller can either accept or reject that offer. So once the seller has accepted, mm -hmm. the property is now under offer. And that means that you will get your agreement for sale through your attorney. You review the terms and the conditions. Mm -hmm. If you are in agreement, you sign, the seller signs, you pay your deposit, and the property is now under contract. So no one is able to make an offer on the property because it's now under contract. That's actually a legally binding contract. Okay. Yes. However, if we do not get written instructions from the seller to stop showing, we can continue looking at properties that are under offer. How can I make my offer stand out? I don't want anybody else to get it but me. There are a few things that you can do. One, ensure that if you're taking out a mortgage, you are pre-qualified and you know exactly how much you can afford. So you will mm -hmm. present your offer with your pre-qualification letter. Also, you need to show us proof of your deposit and I'm gonna add closing costs because a lot of times prospective buyers will show just proof of deposit but they don't show us closing costs. So we have situations where you have your deposit but at the end of the sale you're not able to come up with the closing costs and the sale can fall through at that point. Okay, so walk us through the process um, from identifying the property and securing it. So when you have decided, you know, now I'm ready to purchase a property, mm -hmm. there are a couple of questions that you need to ask yourself before okay. you begin your search. So one of the questions, um, can I afford to make this purchase? Do I have any debts? Do I have a credit card that I need to pay off? Do you need to understand where you are in your financial journey? in order to determine if you're ready to purchase that property. For some persons who are not quite ready with mm -hmm. the deposit, you may need to get a surgical investment product to help you with your deposit in future. So it's not necessarily that you have to be ready right now, mm -hmm. but we can also help you or guide you to being ready for that purchase. So after you've gotten pre-qualified, mm -hmm. then it's now time to look for a property. Select your real estate agent from Sajikor and we will 
schedule the property viewings. Mm -hmm. Once you've identified that property, we will help you with negotiating your offer. Once your offer has been accepted, mm -hmm. then we will guide you as it relates to the next step. Also, for safety purposes, many persons are listing their properties through real estate agents only. They're not going the route of selling it on their own. Mm -hmm. That creates a form of safety for persons as well. Before we list a property and before we onboard a client, there are certain steps that we take to ensure that the activities are legal and that we are operating within the ambits of the law. So the realtor ensures that I do not fall into scams and protects me every step of the way. Indeed, we hold your hand mm -hmm. from submitting that offer to mm -hmm. collecting your keys. Thank you, Nikisha, for sharing with us today and for providing guidance on how we can find the perfect home. You are welcome. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Keeping It Real Estate, where we give you the real in finding and securing the purchase of your property. If you have additional questions, you can email Nikisha Wong at Nikisha underscore Wong at Sagicor.com or you can call Sagicor Property Services for everything real estate. Until next time, keep it real.